So again, let's use our Jersey Square team as an example of what customer relationships might look like. If you remember, we keep talking about get, keep, and grow. But what does that exactly look like? What is it you're doing? Well, getting customers is just like it sounds. I need to acquire them and activate them. And if you remember, the Jersey Square team said, uh, my primary channel will be our own company website. So therefore, probably uh, my number one uh, way of getting customers are Google AdWords. And you can see a little experiment that they've ran here on the bottom, and they're doing a whole bunch of A-B testing and Google AdWord testing and Facebook testing. But they're trying to see whether that hypothesis about low-cost acquisition is possible. They're also doing guerrilla-style marketing on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And they're trying to see whether they can make their business viral by actually having customers refer others. The key tenet of virality is can you get other people to do your marketing for free? Um, and they're also going to work on targeted promotions. All these right now are hypotheses, but pretty good starting points. But later on, they're thinking about what their funnel looks like in year two or three. How are they going to keep these customers? Again, these are further out hypotheses, but we're thinking about customer loyalty programs, seniority credits, partnership rewards, free jersey give giveaways, and then ultimately, how do they grow their customer base? Can they sell the customer data? Can they have a family plan? Is not only you wear a jersey, but you could have your wife and children, and we'll just ship an entire box of jerseys for every game to you? Premium subscriptions? And possibly, you could actually rent out additional products like foam fingers, noisemakers, funny hats, etc. that actually might come in the same shipping box and now you're uh, getting a higher average selling price.